So as you know, there are a lot of tools and options in Revit that we can use, but sometimes they are not simply enough. Sometimes we need to have extra parameters, extra tools or options to add some details, to add some specific um, like uh, information that and its parameter or its option is not available yet in Revit. And I think this is very important for all of us because this will happen to everyone who uses Revit. So in this video, we are going to learn about this more and we are going to see how we can add the parameter that we want to the parts that doesn't have them. For example, let's say for this wall or for this floor, we want to add some options to show us the type of cornice, its material, its like size, its height, or for this floor, we might have some corners around it, something like this. And if we select it in the properties section or in edit type in here, we might not have that specific parameter we are going to create it ourselves and for this we need to use shared parameter if you go to manage section you can see this option in here with shared parameter we can just simply create a new parameter that we can add to this section to this type to this category and we can add text material numbers any value there and we're going to define all of it so it is very simple we need to click on this shared parameter first and then in this part you're going to create a new shared parameter i'm going to click on this part if you want you can assign an address for that in here i'm going to create a new one let's call it floor cornice i hope i'm writing it correct save it and then i'm going to create its scope which will be under maybe floor detail click on ok and then the parameter itself will be again let's go with core nice and its discipline will be common if you check on these sections, if it is a structure, piping, HVAC section, you can choose one of these. But since this is a very common type, very common parameter, I'm going to choose this one. And it will be simply a text, not a length, not an area, volume, material, none of these. Maybe material, and you can add it too. But in general, I'm going to select this text, click on OK, and OK. So now that we created this shared parameter, we need to assign it to a floor, to a wall, to the like category, to the type that we want. Now that it is just created, we need to assign it to the part that we need to. For that, we need to go to this project parameter. In here, we are going to create a new parameter. And in this part, since it is a shared parameter, not a project parameter, I'm going to switch to this option. Then we are going to go to select to the address that we selected and maybe you can see if you don't you can go to this part and like find and browse it in this here okay i'm going to select it click on ok now that it is in this section we can see all of the options that we choose for that it is a group parameter under text it is a text option and it is instance and then on the other side, we're going to assign it to the category that we want. You can search for that category in here, or you can just simply scroll and check what part exactly you want it to be assigned to. I want to assign it to my floor, so I'm going to open this part. I don't want it to be assigned to a slab edges because this is a structural and cornice is something like interior architecture. So I'm going to just assign it to my floor and click on OK. And okay again now if i select one of these floors for example this one or any floor that is available we can see this text and this cornice in here too since it is an instance parameter we can see it in here but we could simply turn it into a type parameter and we could have access to it from this part now that it is in this section for example for this floor i can like assign anything i want if it is the type of cornice maybe it is its height let's go with 10 centimeter 
height okay for example in here we can use this one for this floor that we have and since it is instance we can just simply uh, for example in the interior side if we have two types of this floor we can assign different cornices in different spaces for that for this exterior part i can assign something else for example the material of that let's go with just simply a stone since it is a text parameter we can use just words and like numbers anything we want we could set it on materials we could set it on area you could just simply um set it on um, material and change the material of this cornice for different parts so if you for example select one of the walls or windows or doors you might see just simply regular and normal parameters that we have in here nothing unique and nothing special unless it is in its family a door is a um, uh, family that we can import to revit and of course we can add all of these options to that but uh, for this wall for the floor for some other options that are already set its parameters we can use this option shared parameter have a lot of uses and we can use it in a lot of different sections another example that we can do is for creating the uh, sheet for creating title blocks i'm going to create one in here right click on it create a new sheet maybe this sheet b click on ok for example for this part as you might remember we created this whole title block together you can watch it in top right corner and we created some parameters based on the um, options that we had in revit the owner designer author project name maybe project address the date a scale and these type of things but for example what if there is an option that is not already uh, available in Revit and we have to add it as a label that we can change in our title block. In these cases, we are going to assign and create a shared parameter and we are going to then add it to this section. For that, I'm going to go to manage section again, click on this shared parameter first. I'm going to create a new one in here i want to create a tag create a parameter that i can change its size of the sheet for example the um, a3 a2 a1 size okay for this i'm going to create a new parameter let's go with page size and click on save then i will create its group let's go with page size click on ok for its parameter i'm going to use the same it is a common parameter and i want it to be text so if possible i might need to add some other options to it too but i will go with just simply text click on ok and ok again then we are going to go to create section and to this label because what we are going to create is going to be a label click on this part for example and in here we are going to create the parameter we needed it is going to be a shared parameter i'm going to select my page size click on ok and in here we already have it i'm going to click on ok and we have it in this section i will put it in the label of parameters if you want you can add prefix suffix for that too and i'm going to click on ok now we have this page size in this part it is a tag it is a label i'm going to switch it to bright so i can place it maybe in this part yes i'm going to move these sections move all of these text and dimensions up then place it in here something like this and then i'm going to copy one of these texts down in this part let's change it to page size okay then i'm going to just simply load it into my project overwrite the existing version in here we can see it 
and then in here we can see this page size to assign it to assign this label to my sheet too i'm going to go to the manage project parameter in here i will create a new one shared parameter select it select the page size click on ok it is a text and it can be instance it can be a type and then from this part i'm going to simply assign it to title blocks or sheets click on ok and ok again and now if i select my sheet in here it is not so if you select nothing in this section you can see this text with its page size since it is a common text i'm going to just simply write my size of page and we can see it in this part so i think this is especially for sheets and title blocks this is a very cool option that we can use because sometimes there are things that we don't have them in the options that revit offers to us and this way with just shared parameters we can add them to any part that we want to any category easily and we can add the parameter the options that we actually need and they are helpful for our project so thank you so much for watching until now and i will see you next time